down the road. <laughs> it's gross. It happened. It happened again when I was gross. going. You get all jacked up like this when you smoke the branch. No, I don't. You talk like a no, penguin. No, I don't. These are the owners of the Kingvale Lodge having a slight little discussion. <laughs> a discussion. A discussion. Yes, wait. We'll, we'll try to keep it to a discussion. With a megaphone. I gotta get back here so I can see the banter. Okay, there you go. Well, there's, <laughs> until something new happens, there's really nothing to discuss. Although there was, in the recent, the people who showed up in the Subaru or in uh -huh. the Subaru car. Yes. And instantly I knew that Steve was going to give them Unit 4 or Unit 3. Yes. And so he was right able to do that. That's right by their bedroom. I nipped by the it way. in the bud as quickly and swiftly as possible. And I said to the guy, You're staying in Unit 8. Yeah. <laughs> and what did he say? Well, that's okay, we can stay, but Unit 8's better, so give them Unit 8. And then what did he say? <laughs> and what did I say? I, get, I tried to give him Unit 8. I, you're going to like it better, there's more room, I saw that you have two kids. You're going to really they're like it here at the Kingdale like Lodge. It <laughs> it's nice and quiet. <laughs> you just don't want to stay, you know, just don't Unit get 4 underneath Unit me. 4, don't get Unit 4, okay? <laughs> So Ask for the end one. <laughs> but if they are given unit four, I have to remember to be quiet. She there, were, there were people down there in unit four the other day, and you didn't even hear them. I know. That was amazing. And they didn't even complain about you yelling. What am I yelling about? I, I mean, you know. say I yell all the time. I don't know. You wake me up in the so middle of the night. So what is it I'm yelling about? Because I'm snoring. I'm not tell, yelling. You tell me to... I'm going like this. I'm going... Shh. <laughs> At 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. Was that... How many decibels was that? And the next thing I know, the dog will come running in. <laughs> What's going on in here? He Throw, thought I was calling you him. you got to throttle it back. Okay. I've had it. I've had it with our... I mean, just in the short little nine months... Visiting with hospitals and doctors, I, I think that's the most the most insanity that I've ever been near. I have to get away because the more you go, it seems the more like you get sick. You mm -hmm. want to just stay as far away from them as you can. This is the frustration coming out because she has a bad knee and nobody can figure out what's wrong with her. It's been like this for nine months. She's had an MRI. They can't find anything wrong. And she's adamant about the fact that something is going on with her knee. And now it's affecting her ankle and it's going over to her other knee to a certain extent. And they keep telling her there's nothing wrong. They're going back to the doctor tomorrow and she's going to have it in for him. And then we're really going to have something to say. Yes. But it hasn't affected her jawbone at all. No, it hasn't. I don't know if she has an off button. I'm not quite sure about that. <laughs> I'm the Energizer Bunny. Yep. She's quieting down here. But the thing is, these people are neighbors at the Plavada. They have neighbors. They want to come in here and have a good experience. They don't want to be told what unit to go to. Oh, he's going to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to we'll ask him tomorrow. He's going to like unit eight. They want to yeah. select. When you go to the Atlantis and get a room for the night, don't you feel a little hesitant when they say, "Oh, you're going to be in room 1116"? Well, you it's don't know not what just room that, it's is. the fact that there are no good rooms there. They're all, you know, you're looking out at some kind of a top of a roof, or you're looking out on the traffic, or there's something, or you're by the elevator. But or... my point is, the guy saw the, wanted to see the room, he saw the room, he liked the room, he didn't want to see the king room. But my point is this. I knew before they even got out of the car that you were going to show them that room. I should have stopped them before you even did that. 
The guy's I should have said, no, you're not putting them in unit four. Come here, let me show you this unit eight. That's what I would have done. I should have done that, but I was just waiting for you to come back in. No, you weren't. You were airing the house out. No, it was not. I was waiting for you to come back in. Anyway, enough said. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. <laughs> Gotta carry it everywhere. Just stick it on your head, you know, like one of those. You have one in yours, I'll have one of mine. We'll just. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Hey, actually, these guys are really cool people. You've got to come out here to the Kingvale Lodge, don't they? How long have you owned this place, by the way? I think since. Seriously? Um, 2000. Seriously, are you filming it? Yes. Oh, I'm exhausted already. Going on 15 years. Yeah. I'm going to put this on my channel for everybody to see. Don't you want people to come out here? Yes, you do. You've got six rooms out there available, minus one, because you were kind enough. Thank you very much for that, for inviting me up here. I've had a good time. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, Mike was smart enough to take Joe. a king size yes, room. Joe or Joe. Was. Yes, Joe. Joe, excuse me. Yeah, it was very comfortable, by the way. I had a good time there. Very nice to sleep, and you even loaned me one of your movies, and I like that. That was very kind of you as well. Where's the popcorn? I didn't have any popcorn. They haven't no. put it in the rooms yet. I got four boxes of it. All right, popcorn next time. We'll give it popcorn when you head out tonight. Okay. Seth Scruff's got to do the. Any? She's got to do the popcorn test on the microwave ovens because we don't want burned popcorn. Oh, the that's right, because we're up in the high altitude. You can't just press the popcorn you, button, can like, like you? Or the two minutes or three minutes no, because it burns it. you got to have a label on there that says yeah. popcorn, one minute, five seconds. <laughs> Otherwise, or, smoke detectors are going to be going on. Yeah. And speaking of smoke detectors, the whole place has fire sprinklers here, has the different monitoring things here, has smoke detectors. Yes, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It was required. Yeah. Nice. We did it. Good. Now, do people need, can they come in here and visit you if they want in your nice little lodge set up here? This is your area where you, where you spend your days and this is where you guys, this is your place. This here. is our house. That's your house. This, so. They can come in. They can come in and borrow movies if they want. They can come in and ask questions. Um, power does go off here on occasion in big storms. Okay. You know, we all know about the storms in the Sierras. Yep. They can come and sit around the fireplace. Nice, because you got a nice fireplace in here. Yeah. By the way, I, I might as well show that because I know, you know, after people watch this video, you guys are going to be packed here. You can't say those things about Unit 4 and everything. You no. Did. <laughs> they're, they're still talking about Unit 4. See, Unit 4 and 3 are right next to their bedroom. So the idea is that she's trying to get over Ow. to Steve here Ow. is that if the other units aren't full, put them away what? from the, my bedroom in case I make any noise or in case they're or watching TV. Or and, something and they're, from random knee pain. Oh, yeah, from random knee pain. <laughs> See, she, she's really in pain here. All right, wait. <laughs> enough of that, enough of that. I'm going to show you the the fireplace here. See, isn't this cool? They don't usually leave, let you in here, but if they have a power outage, they'll let you sit by the fireplace, no problem. You know? And I'll talk to you about this ceiling fan in a minute on a different video. Because <laughs> that's, that's another video in itself. You know? So if you're still watching this video, You've extended your stay here. I've decided to make it just a little bit longer on the video. So in case you're interested in coming out here to the Kingvale Lodge, kingvalelodge.com. This is the fourth time I told you kingvalelodge.com. I'm leaving. Check it all out because they'd love to have you come out. I know they would. Wouldn't you, Steve? Thanks, Joe. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Adios, amigos. Adios. <laughs> if you come out, tell them Joe sent you. Yeah?